A Taupo drug dealer caught illegally getting guns for supply to the Rotorua killer bees and dealing large amounts of methamphetamine has been jailed for five years and four months. Gordon Mark McRae, 34, appeared in court for sentencing after previously pleading guilty to a raft of charges. He has admitted charges of unlawful possession of a firearm, conspiracy to unlawfully possess a firearm, offering to sell a pistol, supplying firearms to unlicensed individuals and two representative counts of supplying methamphetamine. The firearms were acquired by McRae, unsold on the black market and were now in the hands of unlicensed people involved in the criminal world. None of the firearms have been recovered. In September 2020 McRae arranged for an associate to buy five Alpha brand revolver carbine rifles with the intention of unselling them for profit. On September 29th, the associate went to Gun City in Hamilton and used his lawfully held firearms license to buy four 22 Magnum revolver rifles, one 357 Magnum revolver rifle and 1,200 rounds of ammunition. The purchase came to $8,977 and he paid in cash. In the days following, the associate gave these firearms to McRae, who then onsold them. McRae reassured his customers the firearms were brand new and they would not have to worry about what the firearms might have been used for previously. On October 20th, McRae contacted a Killer Bees gang member in Rotorua in an attempt to procure a wholesale amount of methamphetamine. They communicated with each other via text messages but unbeknown to McRae, police were investigating the Killer Bees, including the man McRae was communicating with. During a series of messages, McRae offered to exchange a .38 caliber pistol and $3,000 cash for the ounce, which normally sold for between $8,500 and $9,500. The killer B rejected the offer because he and the gang would have lost on the deal by McRae used an associate with a firearms license who had a methamphetamine addiction to buy firearms for him at Gun City in Auckland. He also told the salesperson he wanted to collect the rifle that had been pre-ordered over the phone by his brother, Patrick Clover. In total he paid $3,650 towards firearms and ammunition, using money McRae had given him. Police later found out there was no such person as Patrick Clover. McRae's house was searched in February 2021 and police found dealing bags, $1,850 in cash and a cutting agent used for diluting methamphetamine to increase its apparent weight. When arrested, McRae told police he was addicted to methamphetamine and was constantly trying to facilitate deals in the hope of being able to skim some to maintain his own habit and repay his debts. A pre-sentence report considered McRae high concern, and of a high risk of reoffending. McRae has told authorities he was just a middleman and was blinded by his drug addiction. In an eight-page summary of facts for Gordon McRae, it is detailed how the Taupo methamphetamine dealer was able to sidestep gun laws to supply firearms to the criminal underworld by using a stunningly simple trick. The police summary of facts revealed they became aware of McRae's activities back in December 2020, launching Operation Benham, with a successful application to the High Court for surveillance of McRae using tracking devices and interception of his private communications. Warren Green. GS News.